In this tutorial, we'll go through the procedure to fill up the field measurement book for theodolite surveying. In, in this, we are going to measure the vertical angles which are given by vernier C and vernier D. If you notice, only minutes and seconds have been specified for vernier D in all the cases. This is because the vernier C and vernier D are separated by 180 degrees. Hence, you'll only have to find out, uh, you'll be uh, reducing that or increasing that value to vernier D. And to, as this is just a check, you don't have to give both. When you make the readings on vernier C, observe the, the, the number of degrees which you uh, you have above the horizontal or below the horizontal and get the corresponding values of minutes and seconds for that reading. In the same way, you go on for the vernier D and measure only the minutes and seconds component. Find out the mean of the readings of vernier C and D to get the included angle. Repeat this procedure for the uh, bottom portion or the bottom of flag pole from the line of collimation in the second part of the tabular column. Again, please note you only do the minutes and seconds part for vernier D. Once you get the average angle, fill it up in the formula and you will be able to get the height of the flag pole. Please note, you only take the number of degrees which you see, which you observe on the vernier C. Again, once you get it, you will be able to make the tabulation. Please note, this towards right which has been marked and towards left is only applicable for the horizontal scale and it won't make a difference for the vertical scale. However, whether it's a face left reading or a face right reading will make a difference on the reading of the vernier. This I leave to you to discover. Trust this helps.